Hey YouTube, it's Shalonda. I'm here with a quick project share and a couple of little tiny things that I've purchased over the past couple of weeks. Um, I'm sorry if I sound like I have an attitude, but this is like my fifth time trying to record this video. Maybe even tenth time and people keep interrupting on purpose by mistake and it's just ridiculous. So anyhow, as you guys know, I'm not able to edit off of my phone, so... You know, I just have to start the video all over. So anyhow, um, yeah, so I made this balsa box for one of my friends. Her birthday is in October, the beginning of, um, well, mid-October. I'll say that. Um, and she has already hinted around that she loves Asian-themed things, and she would like me to make her something Asian-themed. So I pulled out the bird song from Graphic 45, and I grabbed a balsa box. Um, I'll probably get her a bracelet or something or a gift card to put in here. Um, but yeah, so I, I used the one floral sheet here and it went all the way across the back there. Um, and then I used one of the little strips of paper from the paper line and made it into like a um, flat, not a flat, but something that I can slide the box closed with. It's helping holding it in place. Um, I, you see the two pieces of bling that I put there. I just thought it needed something on both sides. Um, this is one of those little metal pieces that I love so much. And I just uh, placed one of my buttons that I got from like a big old bag of buttons from Michael's a long time ago. Um, so yeah, to open it, close it, you just push this up here and it flaps right out. And then you just slide it back into place for it to close. On both sides, I went ahead and uh, put that strap across for extra support. And I used the same paper there. Um, when you turn it around, um, I cut these pieces from the collection as well. Put them on the back. I put an old, like, a piece of dress um, applique. I put a piece of applique in the back there that was just a scrap laying around that, you know, I knew I needed to do something with, but I didn't want to throw it away. So I put that on there. Um, where is my... Oh, here it is. Um, yeah, I probably need to... Go ahead and glue these pieces down. But anyhow, so I'm sorry, but this piece fell off. Okay, so what I did was just went ahead and use a recollection flower at the bottom, put this here. Um, I edged around everything with black soot. Um, and then I took one of those recollection gems right there and put it up here with the um, gold flower. Um, I was trying to put the flower around it, but it didn't look right. So I had to cut each petal off and slide it behind the gem because I didn't think to put the flower on and then the gem. But even if I did, I think it wouldn't have turned out. The spacing wouldn't have been right. So I'm glad that I just went ahead and stuck them around that way. Um, I just was reminded that it's not glued when that piece fell off. So that's not good. So I'm going to have to make sure I glue that. So yeah, that's the first thing. And this is the thing that I love the most. Um, I too like Asian themed things. And, you know, I really just like the way that box turned out. Next, um, I want to talk about this box that I just don't like the way that this part turned out. So I'm always on a project where I finish it up and then I change my mind because I don't like something. So anyhow, I like the way the whole bottom of the box. Let's just look at it this way. I like the way this whole bottom of the box turned out. Um, I knew I needed something for the middle there, and I had these little paper clip things like this. So I went ahead and put one and put a um, flat back pearl in the middle. Um, I put the flowers for cushioning at the bottom of the box. I painted the box, crackled it, um, and then I put this chipboard ticket there with one of those pearl, uh, with one of the tiny pearl um, bows. I also took some paper and paper pieced it at the top here and then um, I had some butterflies from the recollection stuff and I just sprayed it with my Lindy's. Um, I think I'm going to use some magnets. I think I'm going to use some magnets as a closure um, but I don't know yet. Um, I just really have to figure out something to do with that top because it's looking real top heavy and I don't like that. So. Yeah, that's how that one turned out. And since I'm not happy with that, we're not going to spend that much time looking at that one. Anyhow, um, I got this for $0.25 cent at a sale. Um, and even though I don't use my, I don't wear my ring because my diamond has been loose on it for years and we just never took it in to get it serviced. Um, 
yeah um i thought this was like something for somebody that paints or gets real messy in their craft room and they need a place to put their rings or just in your room or whatever i just thought it was a cute little box so i picked that up um i know i told you guys i slowed down on milk glass um because i noticed that i was buying a couple of pieces that i was not actually going to use once i get them here they don't go with the rest of the stuff that i have so i slowed down on just buying anything um but I have ran into some really good pieces lately, so I'm going to show those to you guys in another video. Um, but anyhow, I found this one at that same garage sale for a dollar. I thought it was pretty cool. I have nothing like it, so I went ahead and got that one. Um, same thing about this one. I don't have anything really like it, except for like a smaller one with a different pattern. Um... So yeah, I ended up picking up this one too. I thought it was kind of funky. Um, oh yeah, I picked up this little thing here. And I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a really cool like, little girl sitting in there. And I thought that would be so cute to put on a baby project. Um, and they gave it to me for um, $0.99 cent because this thing right here was missing a pearl in the middle. Um, so... Yeah, I got it for really cheap, so I was happy about that. I picked up these little tiny knobs at one of my favorite thrift stores around here. Um, I was thinking about once I got them, I said, oh man, I could have put one of those on that little white box. But um, anyways, I have them now. I was hoping that they had some more in the bottom of the box, but they only had some huge wooden ones. So I took those. Um... I ended up finding this at a garage sale for how much? A dollar? Yep. A dollar. Um, it's like an Avon piece. And it's really cute. I'm, I don't know what I would put in it, but I like it. Um, I ended up finding these doilies at an estate sale. I think that's where I got this from. Um, that piece there. Okay, let me move this bag out of the way and then show you guys like this. Okay. Ended up getting that piece. This one here. This one here. I think there's a couple of them, like two like that. This one I thought was really nice. Oh, except for a stain. I just now noticed that. But we don't have to try to clean that or cover that. Um, this one. I ended up getting that doily. That one is the same. That little runner there. Um, this was just thrown in, which was nice. I figured um, I can use this for something. Maybe like a little runner when I actually get a nice table to put in my room. Um, I thought this one was really, really cool. So I got that one. Another one like that. And then this one is probably my favorite, or one of my favorites. So that was there. And then these were there. I think all four of these were a dollar. Um, I don't know if they're like napkin holders or something. But, you know, I was looking at them as feet or knobs for something. I bought a whole bag of these. I can't find them right now, but a whole bag of vintage spools. Um... Let's see what else. I ended up getting this little um, cutting board, and they're four ninety nine at Tuesday morning. Um, sometimes I don't want to feel feel like picking up my really big ones, so I grab. I would like to grab something smaller. Um, these were ninety nine cent at Michaels. These were ninety nine cent at Michaels. These were a dollar forty nine at Michael in the clearance department, and it just has like these little cool things right here. Um, I have been waiting for this to go on clearance or something yeah. for so long. Um, I've been checking this paper out for a long time, but for some reason I never wanted to pay for it and I never wanted to use a coupon on it. So I'm glad that I waited. They had two of them and I should have got both of them because I love it so much. But I ended up just getting the one. Maybe if they have the other one when I go back, it's meant to be, and I'll get that one too. But it was only $6.99, and I think there was an extra 20% off. Um, but maybe I used a Joann's because you can use those on clearance sometimes.
so it was like a ha more 20 percent off uh including clearance or something um so yeah i finally got this pad and i'm so happy about it it's called the garden tea party stack um and i found it at michael's i know it's die cuts with, with a view but the only place i've seen it at is michael's so i don't know then at the um i haven't been to my uh tuesday morning in a while and i found this paper heart uh crepe paper stack for 6.99 um and just to give you a little view of some of the papers i thought this would be fun to use so i picked up that one and then they also had the i know my desk is a mess and then they also had a my girl pad and i think i have this one in a smaller size but i like the colors and stuff in it so i ended up getting that too so yeah guys that's that with um this little haul here um i have been buying and buying and buying and buying and buying so i will have to get caught up with my um videos uh sooner than later um so yeah i'll be back with my huge milk glass um haul that i did at the antique mall by my house um in a couple of seconds Alrighty, bye